guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In this video, we are going to be doing a Hot Topic haul, yes! Um, I've been slowly getting a lot of packages in because of New York Comic Con. I don't actually think that I... Actually, I don't remember. I think I might have purchased one thing from Hot Topic. I know I didn't buy anything the night that they released because that website frustrated the heck out of me. But I have three boxes here, and I figured I'd go ahead and open them. Honestly... I think some of these are a little bit older, and then a couple might be new. I don't really know, and I just figured, let's be surprised together. So, uh, if you're interested in getting any of these, I'll link, if, if any of them are available, I'll link them down below, but I don't really know what the circumstance is going to be. So we have three boxes. Let's just jump right into it. How is everyone's day going? I woke up, and I was pretty just like, like yeah, today is going to be a good day. Let's see if this box makes it better. Okay, wait a second. I just realized that I know what this is gonna be. Okay, this is uh, the, I was wondering where these boxes were because I knew I bought them. Well, horror box. You guys know Hot Topic came out with a horror box. I think this is made by Funko, yes. And there's a, a bunch of different things in there. Um, I'm assuming that's probably actually what this box is going to be. This is not fun. Not fun anymore. Is that what this is? No, okay. Well, at least this box is different. So the first box, we got a horror mystery box. I thought I bought one or two of these, maybe just one. I don't really remember. I'm not into horror, but I bought it because I like to unbox things on my channel, and you guys did ask me to get this, so I figured I'd get it. But let's go ahead and check out box number two. Box number two has two pops in it. They're the same. Surprise, surprise. Were you really surprised? Let me go ahead and show you what we got. I'm excited I was able to get this. Because I haven't, okay, I haven't like pre-ordered or purchased really any of the pops from this set, but I do plan on getting the entire set. That is my ultimate goal. So, in this box, we have, oh, and I will say kudos to Hot Topic because this is actually an excellent condition. This is Wreck-It Ralph with a cherry pie and it's a Hot Topic exclusive. I absolutely love the look of this set of pops, uh, all of them really. And when this came out, I knew, I know I'm getting the set. I'm just trying to figure out, do I want to pre-order it? Do I want to, do I want to like wait and try to hunt for it? Oh, sorry, here's the side view. So this is a really, really cool pop and I'm really excited I got it. This is huge and cool. This is huge and cool. Huge and cool. That's what she said. Okay, so I got two of them because I was thinking that I probably might want to take one of these out of the box. I really love the way, like, there's something about, like, the way that these pops look that I'm just like, I'm like such a huge fan, I don't know what it is. Anyways, the last box we have is this box. It's quite heavy. Let's see what we got. Oh yes, I've also been waiting for these to show up. Okay, so I think I got these, oh, I purchased hot, I had hot cash. The last time that we were able to use our hot cash, but you guys kind of know if you watch my vlogs that I try to get this in store because I heard in store you could use hot cash for this item, but they didn't have it and so I had to buy it online and not use hot cash, but I did buy a couple other things. Um, so we do have two pops. These boxes are not in the greatest condition, so I don't know what the pops are going to come out and look like. But before we open those, let me show you some of the smaller the smaller things that I got. Um, I'm really excited. I use hot cash for these items. Uh, the one thing I'm really excited about is this. You know what's funny? I've been sitting here going, I don't have a bottle opener. I don't have a bottle opener. And I do. I have my, my rocket power bottle opener, but I wanted a handheld bottle opener, and so I got this Infinity Gauntlet bottle opener. I wish this had a magnet on it, although I don't really have a magnetic fridge, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But I thought this was a really cool, isn't this a cool bottle opener? Like, it's cool, right? I think it's cool. Um, I also got this item only because it was super cute looking and I couldn't, I literally put it in my cart and took it out of my cart like 20 times and I was like, just get it. You're just gonna get it. I did that with a bunch of things. 
Hot Topic, their website has been frustrating me lately, and specifically during the hot cash time, I was frustrated because, like, I had hella hot cash, but I guess they put um, blocks on certain items. So I, I'm gonna say this out loud. I don't know if this is true, but in the past, like before pops were like, I mean, they were still big, but they weren't this big. When hot cash came about, I never bought anything online because I feel like Hot Topic took a lot of their Funko Pops off their website during hot during the hot cash time, like when you could use hot cash, because they didn't want people using hot cash. So their online pop selection was actually not that great. Like there wasn't that many pops on there. So you just would buy stuff and you would have to go in store to use your hot cash. Well, this last time around, like they had a, you know, they have tons of pops on their websites, of course, especially now. But like I kept adding hella to my car to use my hot cash and then it just like my hot cash wouldn't work. It wouldn't really tell me why it wasn't working, it just wasn't working. And then when I was reading the fine print, it actually says like Funko Pops on there. And I was like, that's kind of a little bit shady, a little bit sketchy, but I get it. But it's like, it kind of sucks. So really when hot cash comes about, unless I'm planning on buying random things, I usually will go in store if I'm, if I'm interested in Funko Pops because um, again, they don't really work on the website. So I got this, this is a dinosaur memo holder. So basically this, I've seen this on Amazon, I just saw it, I was like, okay. So this has a post-it note thing in here, so it holds post-it notes. You can also put pencils and pens in here, and then you can clip any important notes to his mouth so that the note hangs out of his mouth like this. I am a sucker, let me just tell you. I've tried to ease it back a little, but I am a sucker for a good desk accessory that is useful. Like. No joke, I absolutely love things like this. Uh, tape dispensers, staplers, anything that's really cool but has a function or a purpose, I'm like so excited about it, it's just me. The last item that I got, other than these Funko Pops with my hot cash, is this. Um, this is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but I wanted to get one for right next to my stove. Although, this is much smaller. I don't know if this would really would work, but I got this little Pusheen tray. I thought this was like, and I think I could still use it like this. I just got the regular one. They had like a unicorn one, but I wanted a tray to put next to my stove so that when I'm cooking and I need to put my spoon down, I could put my spoon, like a spoon rest. Although this is quite small. I don't think that this is necessarily the best use of this item. I'm not really quite sure what is the best use of this item. That's a little bit disappointing. In the picture, it looks so much bigger. I thought, like, oh, that's gonna be a great spoon rest. I actually have a couple spoon rests at my old house that I need to bring over. They're like um, Disney ones, like Mickey Mouse. So I could probably use that. But yeah, that was the purpose of this. Fail, that is a big fat fail. Okay, now on to what I'm very excited about. Although again, this box is very dented. So let's open this one first to see what kind of damage was done. Only a little bit of damage to the plastic. Look at this, look at this, look at this, yes! If you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Big Hero 6 and Baymax specifically. Like, I absolutely, when that movie came out, I mean, that that thing consumed my life. I absolutely, I have like the old school Baymax. Uh, I used to have it on my desk. He never could stand up very well because he's very heavy, top heavy. But we got our Diamond Collection Baymax. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, and it's a six inch pop. Um, I actually weirdly don't think I collected this entire set because I really, like specifically, I really like Baymax. And so I have the regular Baymax. I don't have this Baymax. I have it in my Shumi, my Shumi tracker, potentially, maybe one day I can get it in my subscription. I haven't really seen it around. This box actually, even with the damage that there was on the outside box, it's not terrible. I'm surprised by that, to be honest. Um, I did buy two because I do, this one I plan to take out of the box. Now this was quite expensive, it's 30, $25. $25 for this and I could not use hot cash. But I did hear that people could use hot cash in the store, so. Good for them. Um, I'm actually gonna open the second one because the second one has a couple dings on the front and it's already kind of coming open. So I wanna take this one out and show you guys because I think this is a really cool pop. Oh my God, it's bringing back memories because one of the, like before I was an, oh, it's kind of dirty on the back. Uh, before I was a, a hardcore in box 
collector like I am now, I used to buy pops all the time and I would literally just have them on my desk. I had the whole Finding Nemo set and I had Baymax and I had, I just have a bunch of them um, at work. And so this one's really cool because you guys know I love the diamonds. I love the diamond collection. Like I'm so into it. So when they said that they were gonna release a Baymax diamond collection, I was like, yes, finally, because a lot of their diamond collection pops, I mean, I've collected them because I like the diamond collection, but I don't think any of them have called out fully to me as this one did. Like, it's like if they were to make like a Power Rangers diamond collection or like a Nickelodeon diamond collection. So this is six inch Baymax. He is quite big and he's diamondy. I don't know if you can see the glitter. It's hard to see. There it is, shimmering. Shining, shimmering, splendid. I don't even know if those are the words. Oh, look, I'm not even sitting centered in the camera. Okay, sorry. Um, this Baymax seems to stand up a lot better than my regular Baymax that I have. Well, he's very top heavy. As you guys can tell, he's got a really big head, so, and very not big feet for his head size. So, but he stands, that's good. That is good. Look at me and my little friend. All right guys, well that's everything that happened in this video. I will do a separate video to open this horror box. I know that there's some Funko Pops in here and I don't know what's in it, but we'll open it in another video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. But yeah, I'm really excited about this, about this haul. I just, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's like stuff that I really like. It always makes me very excited. It's like a shopping spree, but you know. Anyways, that is all. I wish I could talk like Baymax. I cannot talk like, I'm terrible at impersonations. I realize like I really just cannot do impersonations of people. Like I really can't. I tried to do a couple impersonations yesterday of coworkers and I was just like, what? Was that a cowboy? What was that? I, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, Go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let us know down below what you guys thought about this Hot Topic haul. Did anyone get their hands on me, Baymax, the Diamond Collection? That sounded like a that sounded like a jewelry commercial. Or did anyone get the Wreck It Ralph with a uh, pie? That's a cool pop as well. And what did you guys get with your hot cash the last time around? And are you guys excited about the horror mystery box? I am not that excited about it. But let us know all of your thoughts down below. And, oh, my hand. You know, sometimes you have to be very careful about your hand placement with pops because sometimes it can be a little awkward. And I know it's just a toy, but it's like still weird. Anyways, don't forget, if you subscribe to this channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you won't make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I was gonna see if his hands could move up, but they don't. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Shay Smiles. Shay Smiles, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. It sounds like you might be a little bit on the newer side. Um, if you are, welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited to have you and appreciate all of your support. So, Shay, we wanna give you the video shout out. Shout out to you, Shay Smiles! Shout out to you! The white. Uh, Baymax is like messing with my camera lighting as you guys can see. Oh man, you guys look at look at my raccoon eye sunglass tan. That's awful. Is this sunglass tan or sunglasses tan? Because no one says like, oh my glass tan, like you say my glasses tan, right? So it would be sunglasses tan, not sunglass tan. How does that work? Like you don't say I have sunglass, you have like sunglasses. Anyways, all right guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!